Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and the backlash to Amazon Prime's The Rings of Power has been a fascinating one to see, with a lot of people who are just normies or normally not in this anti-whatever-bad-shows-are-out sphere are responding to the show negatively, and it's been very interesting to watch. People like Grace Randolph are even coming out against the show, but the person who was more surprising to me than anybody else was the man himself, Elon Musk just destroyed the rings of power. This is the best tweet I've seen in so very, very long. And I just love that it's coming from him. Now, of course, I, I don't agree with everything that Elon Musk does. No one is going to, but I think he's just a great Twitter personality. I love the stuff he tweets and I'm a big fan of pushing forward space travel. So that's something that really attracts me to him and his work. But overall, he just tweets out some great stuff, some really, really funny stuff. And this is some of his top tier work. Tolkien is turning in his is great. That's all it took. Those simple six words was enough to counteract everything horrific that the Rings of Power had done. And the Rings of Power has so many issues with it, regardless of Tolkien adaptation. It's written like a two-year-old with crayon. But the adaptation portion of the Rings of Power is still an important discussion to have. As he's highlighting here, Tolkien would be turning in his grave. And one of the best memes I've ever seen, I wasn't able to find it again, was him turning in his grave so much that they were able to harness the static electricity and just fuel the entire nation with that. I thought that was fantastic. And he has a really great breakdown of why the show is terrible below. Almost every male character so far is a coward, a jerk, or both. That is 100% true. Uh, even Durin, who most people like, he's more whiny and a bitch than anything, and only Galadriel is brave, smart, and nice. And that's how they want to portray her. Yes, only she can be those things, but she's definitely not nice. She is not a nice person. She's not a good person, in my opinion. She's more than happy to leave one of her soldiers in the snow to die before she's reminded not to. And then she just stands there and watches as a snow troll death decimates her people for several seconds. She's just watching her people almost die. She's not a good person. So when I heard about this, this is what I responded with. You know, the classic, let this be the hour that we draw swords together. That's exactly how I felt. Elon is with us. It was just a funny little deal. Elon Musk is really taking them to task. And that's always something that's great to see. And Jeremy actually had a great meme that he put out as well. That just really sums up my thoughts of the writer's room. This doesn't sound like Tolkien's work. Who's talking? You're hired. The Rings of Power production team. That is exactly how it feels, and I feel like that ties together very nicely with Elon Musk comments here that it's just absolutely hilarious with all this backlash going on from so many aspects from so many people who normally wouldn't criticize a show like this it is just getting universally hated and why is it getting hated well maybe it doesn't help that the mainstream and access medias are coming out with some of the dumbest articles ever calling fans racist and sexist and lumping in all the purists, Tolkien purists, in with those racists and sexists. It's just they're on full attack mode. They just can't fathom that people might just genuinely dislike this show for writing, acting, production reasons, legitimate reasons. They just can't fathom this. But there is an article from Forbes that I do want to cover briefly that is just hilarious. The Rings of Power haters are wrong. Tolkien's Gladger was always a warrior. Already we know this is going to be disingenuous and false, but he just goes into it fiery. This guy, uh, whoever his name is, Paul Tassi, is not a nice person. He's just like, the Tolkien fanboys apparently have not read enough Tolkien. That is the one criticism you cannot label at the Tolkien fanboys. You can say whatever you want about them, otherwise there's just not enough proof to counteract other statements about them, but this is not one. They all read the stuff obsessively, and I really respect them for it. I wish I would be as involved in this world as they are, but you can't accuse them of not reading it. And so this is the evidence that he provides that they're wrong, that they're not reading enough, that she's thousands of years old, you know? She, she, she probably picked up a sword in that time, you know what I mean? She probably seen a sword before, so it's totally, you know, she's a warrior princess because she might have seen one in thousands of years. That's... That's, uh, the, that's the argument that this man is going with. I just find that hilarious. And then it gets even worse when he uses proof from a Reddit post. Just some random ass Reddit post is where he uses proof of these occasional passages where it says she fought, she fought heroically. Um, she's a magic wielder. We saw that in The Hobbit. Now that's not necessarily canon. It is representative of other things that did happen. So there are different ways to fight. And she's one of the most powerful magic wielders in the entirety of Middle Earth. So when in doubt, probably using magic and not a sword. 
And yeah, all these are just really, really surface level at the very, very best. And then it just goes into calling everyone racist and sexist. So his evidence is, you know, he might, might have been around for a few thousand years, might have seen a sword before. To Reddit post said she fought. So she fought. There's a lot of different definitions of the word fought, but that was just a really cringe article that I saw that I had to highlight briefly here during this video. But overall, yeah, a lot of normie people who aren't used to getting attacked by the mainstream and access media are not liking this. And so some of them have gone silent, but a lot of them won't. And they'll finally realize what these companies do, these tactics that they use to label all the people who criticize certain shows and movies, racist and sexist. It's a terrible thing, but it's great to have Elon Musk with us, at least for this show and standing up against against the terrible adaptation and just the terrible written show that is Amazon Prime's The Rings of Power. And I'll leave you with this slight add-on that came out while I was making this video after I was uh, the original draft, but Elon Musk has continued, those who claim any criticism of Rings of Power means you're racist are outing themselves as closet racist. And that is something that we've been saying on YouTube for so long and it's so great to hear from a man like Elon Musk because that's exactly what it is. It doesn't matter what your criticism of the show is, you're just immediately labeled a racist and a sexist and that's honestly pathetic because there is a ton of legitimate criticism from just the writing, production value, costume design. There are so many realms of legitimate criticism that are being thrown out the window by baseless accusations of racism and Elon just puts it so well right there that I have to give him props for that. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. you like what I do here and want to see good compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues. Books one, Down in Flames, and book two, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.